Hi guys, this is Suzanne HB. Crazy just might work on Instagram and I'm wishing you a happy new year. Um, welcome to 2015. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the amazing design by aka me, myself and I on Instagram. I'll have all her details down below. Um, this one's called Chain Chain Chain. And uh, yeah, I could do the J sound with chain, 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 chain of boobs. Anyway, so I'm going to do the tutorial on this one. It's actually a really straightforward um, design that comes up with this amazing effect. This one's done with the zebra bands, the rainbow loom zebra bands, and I think it turned out pretty cool. It's actually going to be. Uh, You'll see it with one of my husband's outfits sometime later on my account. Uh, so we're going to start. It's a it's a monster tail design, uh, four pins. You can actually do it on your um, rainbow loom if you want to just use the four pins on that. Uh, you could probably also, I guess, use the finger loom. Um, I haven't really thought about that. It would convert to a finger loom just fine because it's just the four pins straight across from each other, uh, straight round, going like that. So. Let's get started. I'm going to do this in a way that hopefully will show um, where the color graduation happens between bands. Uh, I did this all in one in one band color, uh, so it's a bit hard to tell where the color would graduate from one to the next if you do it in sections. So I'll do it in sections, um, all one section, one color. We'll just uh, see how that works out. So it might give us some clues on color variations on that too much talking let's get on with it all right so our first step is to do um, I guess the start of nearly every four pin um, growing kind of band is well okay here's the way I do it I put it diagonally because if I put it across ways I find it's harder to to work with but if I put it diagonally and then you just grab this one and lift it over and around like that and then you grab this one and you go over and around it's actually just two steps to making that rather than some people I've seen using the whole four steps and taking around each peg works really well for me okay so once you've done that the next step is to just do one band around the outside of all those pecs. So this is just your start. It's nothing to do with the actual design. It's just getting a nice tight start on the beginning of the bracelet. If I can get that to untwist. No, it does not want to untwist for me. Never mind. Never mind. You get the idea. All right. So. Okay. So once you have these two layers, you're going to be moving to the actual um, section and the way you're going to lay the bracelet for the rest of the, the whole pattern, the whole design. So what I would do is, because I'm going to do each one, each section of um, six layers um, with the same colour, what I would do <clears throat> is get, excuse me, 12 bands of the colour you're going to use, 6, 8, 10, 12, and put them aside or beside you so that you know that when they run out you move on to the next section that's not so hard when you're using you know different bands per section but when you're doing a band like this it's easier to get lost as to how many bands you've actually done okay so this is actually uh, a four layer fishtail so we're going to wait until we've got four layers of bands on the monster tail on each before we start looping up and over now for this section we're going to start with the bands lean up down like so. I've only got three layers on there so we're going to put another layer on also laying in the same direction. All the bands on this uh, layer, this section will, will lay this way, this direction. Okay so we've got two extra layers on with the bands laying in that direction so it means we've got four on each pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to just loop up the bottom band which is pretty tight because it's that first one up and over like so and turn it around 
before we put that bottom one up and over. Like so. So it's a four layer fishtail stitch. And that's the stitch we're going to use on the entire bracelet. So we've got three layers there now, so we're going to lay, lay another lot of two bands. Whoops. There's another lot of two bands across in the same direction. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but my, my monster tail does get turned around quite a bit. It's okay if you're operating from either side of your monster tail. It doesn't matter. There's not a front and a back. It's just the same both sides. It's symmetrical. So if you do find that, you know, you're going along and then all of a sudden you think, oh, hang on a minute, I've got my monster tail around the wrong way. It doesn't matter. You can lay them and loop them this way. You can lay them and loop them that way. So long as you've got the bands running in the direction that you need them for that section, you're fine. It doesn't matter which way you loop them. Okay. So now I've got the four layers on again. Let me lift that other tighter bottom layer up and over into the center there. And we're going to lift that tighter bottom layer again. So we've got three, so we go back and we lay another lot across, same direction. Got four bands on there, grab that bottom layer, which will now be much easier to loop because it's just the bands pulled across two pins, not those first tight bands. Much easier to start looping over now. Alright, another layer. Like I said, really doesn't matter if you get confused like I do and you end up with your monster tail facing the opposite direction. It really doesn't matter so long as you're going from side to side and from end to end on the next section. So I'll show you that as we go along. So we're fishtailing that, just that bottom band of the four coming up and over. So that's my last layer of this collar. Lifting it up and over. Up and over. Like so. Okay. Now, all you have to do is exactly the same thing, except you're going to be laying your bands side to side instead of up and down. Okay. I tried this with white bands and it was a bit glary, so I might try it with uh, blue bands and see if that's, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be distinct enough difference. All right, so we need 12 of the next color band we're going to use for the next section. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. And I recommend even if you're going to change colors, 12. If you're going to change colors and you're going to have like a stripe in the middle of a, a a chain link or something like that I would still lay out the bands for that section in order um, of from you know 1 to 12 in, set, in uh, sets of two so that you can just follow it straight along and don't get confused about where you're up to alrighty so let's turn it right this way because it's just a little bit easy for me to hang on to the next layer is going to be laid simply this way you could either do this and turn your monster tail around like I did and just operate in the same direction or you can just keep it this way. So I thought I'd show you that option. We've got four layers again so we're simply going to take the bottom layer up and over. Bottom layer up and over. So the only difference in this section is that we're laying the bands sideways like so. So we're just going to keep alternating, laying the bands up and down in one section, swapping over, laying them side to side, and keep on bringing up that bottom band of the four. 
And if you get a bit confused, you can look down and you just look and see which way this band here is laying, these inside bands. And you go, ah, okay, yep, yeah, I'm still laying sideways. Well, not me personally, but the bands. All right, fourth, four bands. So we're lifting them up and over, bottom band, up and over. Very straightforward. So clever, so simple. Up and over, up and over, like so. Keep going this way. Under our fifth layer of this color. Up and over, up and over. So it's very repetitive. It's just the same thing over and over, and all you need to do is keep track of which way you're laying the section you're working on. And certainly if you lay out your 12 bands for the section, this is something you can do sitting in front of the TV, and you have a beautiful bracelet in no time, because it's just very, very straightforward. Okay, so that's, I've come to the end of my bands on there. And I'm going to now change to another color. How about I try a pale blue one? That sounds pretty cool. The same kind of band. So I'll go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. These are all rainbow lens silicon bands. It's quite nice about this design. All right, so we've just been laying them sideways. So we're going to go back on this layer this section and we're going to lay them top to bottom. I'll start to decide which way you want to do it but in this direction. When you want to tell us held like this you're going to lay them in this direction and on each one you put across two bands you can have four on the peg and you lift it up and over. This will be the last section I'll be doing because it's so straightforward and then I'll show you how to close it off. Okay, so we're going to cross, cross, and see how you can tell which direction you're heading at the time, because these inside bands will be the ones you keep an eye on. We can turn it over and sort of examine that, but that's an easy way to tell. So we've got four on each peg, up and over, up and over, up and over, and we just keep doing that. So if you can do a four layer fishtail, you can do this bracelet. Wish I'd come up with this one myself. It's such a cool design. And obviously official rainbow loom for toe two. So that's really lovely. Thank you, Official Rainbow Loom, for liking this design. There we go. Oops, up and over. It's great. It might look a little awkward, but it really is just because of the way I'm working around my um, camera setup. Okay, now you'll start to see this very cool little chain design starting to form. We've got a little hole in the chain there. Let's see if I can make it clearer. Give me a bit of light on it. So that's a link lying this way. And then we've got a hole here where our link's lying that way. And then the next link will be lying this way. So you just continue along like that and you can see where the links graduate. If you wanted to have the links um, 
maybe stopping a, a particular section and having the link without graduating into the next one, you might want to do the last two bands in the next section's colour. So you do like four layers of purple and then the next, the last two layers of that section you do in blue and then you do four layers of blue and then the last two sections you do in the pale blue. So that's if you wanted them to be distinct. But of course you can do whatever you like. I can see this looking beautiful with like a graduated rainbow running through it. Wouldn't that be divine? So there's just a whole pile of possibilities going on. All right, now to finish this one off, I'll show you because if you want to look at it again, uh, how I've done it, please rewind. I think you've probably got the idea though. I just take up that bottom one on there. Over like this. Now we need to get this across to here because you will need to join that link up because this link is running this way. So you want to bring those sides together so that you've got a finished link. So one way of doing that would be, this is the way I finished mine off. I'm sure there are neater ways of doing this, uh, but this works. So just lift it sort of up, turn it over, and take it across to the other side. like so and then I just lifted this one to bottom two up and over those bottom two up and over those like so and then I put these two together on there and then as usual I'm not prepared with my secret and then I just C-clipped that running down through there. So here's how it finishes, and it is reasonably neat. Uh, I don't mind that one. And that's how I finished it on uh, this original one as well. So it, it does work. It does work. But there might be other ways that you find of actually doing it neater. Uh, in, in any case, then you would take it down to the bottom section here, stretch out that bottom section, and you've got these bands running across here from the beginning, and you would simply C-clip to those bands running through the centre. Ta-da! bit hard to do because I haven't done enough of a length to get it around, and it's quite a solid bracelet. You can see it's a fairly uh, solid piece because of the four, four band uh, fishtailing. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and it's helped you out. If it has, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have more tutorials coming out. Check out my old tutorials as well because there's a lot of designs you might not have even thought of looking at. Um, if you would like us to see your renditions, and we certainly would like to see them, could you please hashtag crazy just might work? Also, aka me, myself, and I, I'll have all the details below. And if you can uh, tag us on your photos and comments, we'd also, uh, that's a good way for us to see them as well if you like our accounts and certainly go check out aka me myself and i and please check my account out give us a follow uh, there's always some new and interesting things going on on our accounts so again happy new year and i hope to see lots of these on my feed Alrighty, catch you later guys bye